All right, what's going on, everybody? Hope you're having a wonderful weekend. So I got a little bit of a different setup today, uh, trying something different. But um, yeah, for this video, we're gonna just have ourselves a first edition Kryptonation booster box unboxing. I'm gonna um, see if we can get some big hitters. Maybe some more Mothman. Uh, just felt, felt a little bored. Wanted to open up some more MetaZoo. So, figured I'd break out some more of the uh, bigger boys. But, um, yeah. Before I started, though, I thought I found something pretty interesting. So, I was uh, looking through some cards. And I noticed I got a Terror Bird here. Um nothing crazy special as you can see but then I look down at the bottom and card number 6 out of 14 and I'm pretty sure Terror Bird is just another you know standard card in the uh, Kryptonation set I believe that is the case um, there's the Kryptonation logo there so I just thought that was kind of interesting um, is that right? I don't think that's right because obviously there's more than 14 cards in the set uh, so I don't know if I'm missing something. I just just noticed this when I was going through some stuff where I made the video. So yeah, kind of weird. All right, so got another first edition booster box here. This is actually a pretty clean box overall. So I'm was kind of debating not opening it, but I'm addicted to opening my zoo. So. Screw it. Let's just get into it. I hope everybody is having a great weekend. Staying healthy and safe. Let me get this ripped off real quick. Eagerly, if you're like me, you're eagerly anticipating that um, Kickstarter um, looks like it's should be coming this upcoming week hopefully got some really cool stuff in that um, got a box topper got some really cool stuff coming in that you got the uh, limited cards obviously but then you know the poker cards if you're into the poker thing those are cool for you and then if you're like me a crazy idiot who tries to collect everything you're probably uh trying to chase all those hollows all the hollows from the uh the decks because so i believe the way it works is there's one hollow per deck, and I mean, obviously, if you get go through enough, if you go through enough of the uh, go through enough of the decks. It may take you a minute, but there's a, in a while you'll uh, eventually get all of the hollows to make a full hollow deck, which. Yours truly might be dumb enough to try to do. Alright. First pack, we got Babe. Basquatch. Space Penguins. Poison Arrow. Can you? Dragon's Breath. Fog of War. Hide behind. And a Beast of Busco Full Hollow. Very nice. Yeah, it's so weird going back to these old uh, first edition cards. And feeling the uh, texture, just the way they feel. It's changed a lot since the uh, since the beginning. Mezzi cards have. All right. So yeah. And on also outside of that. Uh, 
outside of the uh, Kickstarter. We have uh, another month to go or so before we'll get the um, Steve Aoki set. Transfiguration and Hodag Reverse. So that, that looks like a pretty awesome set as well. Get the uh, <laughs> Zombie Mothman. Some mutant looking other cards, beasties. Alright. I think I bought a good amount of those as well, so let's see if we'll be able to collect a full set of those. <laughs> Definitely gonna have to. And we got Black Hole Shard, Full Hollow. Definitely gonna have to collect. Outside of that, probably trade or buy or sell to be able to f complete that set. I love the uh, shards. There are I mean, artifacts in general. Such beautiful cards. Really awesome concept. Bird reverse. Yep. Cards are kind of sticking together. It's a little weird. Um, Eternal Snowflake Reverse Hollow. Yeah, it's a little weird. A little bit of a film or something on the back of the cards. I don't know. Yeah. I actually have not completed all the box toppers. So that's another reason I'm decide and open this. If I can't get red ink, at least let me get all the box toppers, you know? Hey, okay, now you got another fire crystal follow. Looks like this is just gonna be an artifact box, huh? Okay. Fire crystal's pretty dope. And I was thinking maybe I'm just going to get full set graded. Why not? Just get a full set of MetaZoo. I think that'd be pretty cool. Alright, what do we got here? Hey! Uncle Sam. Full hollow. Nice. I think he's such a cool card. So unique. Just a random Uncle Sam card. What's it say? Uncle Sam is an important member of the crew that delivers MetaZoo's mail. Interesting. Huh. I pose this up. So if you know uh, the Crypto Nation First Editions boxes, usually they're absolutely loaded with uh I'll just make a stack actually I got the fan going I don't know if you can hear it sorry if you can in the background put that there put that there all right a little warm tonight all right what we got in this pack Hey, lightning glass. Man, like I said, I'm pretty sure I called it. It's going to be a <laughs> artifact heavy. Pat, our box. It's fine by me. Like I said, it's probably my favorite part of the first edition. 
for the nation set. These artifacts, they're so cool. All right. But it would definitely be awesome if we can get a Mothman. And Metal Man of Alabama, reverse. Yeah, like I was saying, if I'm not going to get red ink, at least let me get all the box toppers for my set. I like to get as close to complete as possible. <laughs> Metal Man, full hollow. Wish I would have just waited a little bit longer. For the hype to die down for I bought all my boxes. It's so ridiculous how much they've all dropped, especially the Kickstarter boxes. The Kickstarter boxes have dropped pretty crazy from where they were. I mean, what was that? 10 grand? Close to 10 grand? Now I'm seeing them sell for like four, three. It's insane. And yeah, see, it just keeps sticking. That's weird. Death Beam for Hollow. Right on. Alright. It's a pretty cool card. I like how MetaZoo has a running theme with two hands shooting something at something else. <laughs> Keep sticking. All right, what we got here? A hey, Tizarook reverse. Tizarook. All right, next up. That was weird. <laughs> awesome chaos crystal, full hollow, but it was behind the aura. And this one was upside down. That was weird. 147, 159 star. Weird. Why does I don't have a star after 159? Huh. Another weird card. Just like the terror bird. <laughs> But hey, Chaos Crystal, let me take those. Love the Chaos Crystal. Love it, love it, love it. Such a beautiful card. Poncho is an amazing artist. too. It's such a cool card. Oh, there's a star to that one too. Maybe it's just the, uh, whatchamacallit have, has it. I don't know. Blood Ruby. That's a beautiful card. I love its art. Gym. Yeah, this is definitely an artifact box, right? I think I. See. Yeah, it's just all the uh, Terras as the 159 star. Holy Gym, full hollow. Alright. 
sorry if this is going to be a longer video than usual, but I think this is going to be a more laid back, casual video. I'm not really going to try to squonk, stress or worry too much about it. Just having some fun. First hot squonk. Usually, in my videos, I'm obviously standing, so this is so much better to be able to sit after a while of standing. Hey, what's so luck? What's so luck? I still, to this day, cannot pronounce it, but awesome card, nonetheless. Thunder. Yep. But yeah, as I was saying, sitting in this video so much better than standing for such a long period of time. Alright, got now. I still can't get rid of the fact that <laughs> we just have a sneak peek essentially of the ne you know, next set. That whole time. Walking Sam reverse. Walking Sam is a pretty cool card. Seance shout out, right? Y'all on the Discord, you seen that Walking Sam, I believe, was in some of the Seance sneak peeks. Cool card. Force God's Amber, of course. Beautiful card. Love it. Love it. Alright, a little bit over halfway of the box. Hey, another Uncle Sam. Interesting. <laughs> very, like I said, very unique, weird car <laughs> from the zoo. Obviously, Uncle Sam isn't a cryptid. But yeah, he's riding a giant snail, so maybe that's the cryptid part of it. Yeah, Sam's been a foot, hugging Molly, and of course, Black Hole Shard, or a full hollow, I should say. Book of Shadows. Fog of War, Ice Spell. Hey, Bathe Blue Ox. Love it, love it. It's another beautiful card. Gotta get the Babe and Paul Bunyan connection. Such an awesome card. That's a pretty unique card, man. 
really tri trippy to think about. Yeah, somebody's whole life through the stages, right in front of your eyes, and Snallygaster. Nice. That almost looks like the exact same pack. Back to back. Train. Another awesome card. So yeah, as you can see, still got a good amount of packs left. We got a ton of full hollows. Wonder if we'll see a return of the Ghost Train in the Seance set. That'd be pretty cool. Bigfoot. Might be in the minority with this opinion. I don't know, but maybe I am, but I actually prefer this art work Bigfoot to that one. Just that classic Bigfoot pose. Mwah. Perfect. Chef's kiss. All right. Hey, your reflection. Speaking of fireball, I just went on eBay. This was about two weeks ago. Probably more than two weeks ago. Is when that announcement came out that Channel Fireball was no longer partnered with MetaZoo, and I saw that happen. And I was like, you know what? The Channel Fireball. Fireball promo cards are probably about to skyrocket in value because they're going to make no more, and you know, there's probably be a lim you know, like a hot commodity. So I went on there, and somebody actually was selling all three the um, Crypto Nation, Nightfall, and the Wilderness promos all together. And it was actually for a decent price if you add up each individual one. So I went ahead and jumped on it, bought it because I. I'm pretty much right now working on collecting all the uh, growth full hollow. Pretty much working on just collecting all the promos now because I got the set. So, um, that's what I don't have is all the promos. So, I needed the fireball promo, so I went ahead and jumped on that, and that was actually a pretty good deal. I can't remember off the top of my head, it's been a couple weeks now since I bought it how much it was for but for the three it was less than to buy them individually for sure I don't think I'm not going to collect the uh, I don't think I want to collect the you know the babe tokens or or uh, trophies or medals medals that's what they call medals I'm not gonna collect those that's just way too monotonous I don't really don't really care for those. Plus, there's just so many of them. It's insane how many of the uh, medals there are. Metal card medals. Um, yeah, that's just too much. But the standard promos, I want to try to get all those. And then just like 
skip a little bit of space or a page in my binder and then just start putting those with the set. Squonk Reverse, my least, one of my least favorite cards. A hey, light beam of the set. Sorry, Squonk, it is what it is. But yeah. Because some of the promos are pretty awesome. I actually think they're really cool. And uh, yeah, I think I'll. Is this another. Jeez, dude. Another Uncle Sam. Alright. Next up. Uh oh. Darn it. It's reverse. The Mothman, nonetheless. Get ourselves a reverse Mothman. Right on. It's an awesome artwork. Very cool card. Yeah. Hey, Frogman. Reverse though. Couldn't get you two in full. Full hollow. I love Frogman. He this this artwork reminds me of the chunky Pikachu artwork. I mean they're even like facing the same way. I wonder if that was uh, on purpose. Kelsey, was that on purpose? You take inspiration from Chunky Pikachu? <laughs> it's pretty awesome. I mean, that's pretty funny. I mean, it makes sense. Frogman's probably the second, third most popular for MetaZoo. You have Mothman for Charizard, and then Love and the Frogman for the Pikachu. Alright, what we got here? Hey, Sam Sinclair, full hollow, right on. Speaking of characters, here's the Ash Ketchum slash Red of MetaZoo, Sam Sinclair. Alright, we got three more packs. Let's see if we can end on a banger or two. We got. Yeah, luck potion, I need some luck. No, squonk. No luck. Piazza Burn, maybe? Oh, Phoenix Rain. Full Hollow Phoenix Rain. It's a pretty awesome card. Beautiful art. I just hear a screeching hawk phoenix noise. Oops. Squaw. Fire raining down. Very cool. All right, last one. Skeleton lanterns, frozen people, Gumbaru, antidote, hoop, snake, Kentucky hellhound, book of shadows, and mermaid skulls, of course. I think that was the one we were missing, the one last artifact. But no, full hollow moth man, unfortunately. Okay. Got all the artifacts, and I do love those, so pretty cool. Alright, let's go over what we got. 
definitely more full hollow than reverse, so that's pretty awesome. Mermaid skills, Phoenix Rain, Sam Sinclair, Uncle Sam, Blade, Growth, Bigfoot, Ghost Train, Stanley Gaster, Babe, Black Hole Shard, Uncle Sam, Quetzi, got the Chaos, another Uncle Sam, and the two shards, and Beast of Busco. Pretty solid box. I'll take it. Alright, here we go. Red ink, red ink, red ink. Right? Am I right, guys? Red ink time. Oops, didn't cut enough. Sorry, took me a second to open that. There we go. Still my favorite pack art in MetaZoo of all time. That just range of colors. In the front you get all the characters. This is such a beautiful pack. Alright, who we got? Taking our votes. Taking our votes now. And three, two, one. Ooh, Frost Aura. Beautiful. I think I needed this one. Yeah, I like to collect all the auras at least. If I can't get red ink. Alright. That'll do it, everybody. That was a Cryptonation First Edition MetaZoo Booster Box. If you uh, enjoy watching this, watching the uh, cracking open a box, I got plenty of other videos and the uh, infamous search for Mothman, as some would know it on my channel. It took me a while to get one. That was a pretty hectic, fun thing to watch, I'm sure. So, anyways, uh, yeah, thank you for watching the video, everybody. I hope you have a safe and fun weekend um and i'll see you in the next one